this is uh, Scott here uh, at Night Smoke, where I'm going to show you real quick uh, kind of what my process is for um, kind of going in and flatting this page, getting it ready for colors and all that fun stuff. So uh, I'm going to turn this around. Basically, I just uh, I've gone through the steps of getting the line art ready for a Photoshop plugin called uh, Pelt Made or B Pelt. Uh, that's kind of the old name for it. Um, so you can search for either of those and be able to find it. Um, it's a plugin for Photoshop. It's about a hundred bucks, and uh, it really saves a lot of time. So I want to show you how it works. So let me turn the camera around, and here we go. Okay, we got the camera all turned around, and you can see here the uh, line art that I'm using. And let me pull this guy over here. You can see the layers that I've got. So I've pulled this in from uh, Manga Studio, and uh, basically, so you can kind of see what I've got here. I got these borders are in white. Uh, I got the these guys here set to a different layer because they're going to be uh, a little drop back on the color there. Um, this one there is a separate layer. I've got the whole backdrop there. You can kind of see uh, it's black, and everything here is all um, all the white is knocked out on this layer. So what I do uh, initially is I have the original drawing here uh, that I've exported from Manga Studio. I've uh, got these guys. Um, that I want to get knocked out, uh, set in a different color, this blue color, so I can easily select them and pull them out once I uh, export that flat layer. So that's pretty easy to go. And then what I do is I go through, dupe this layer, duplicate this layer, and I uh, create a flat guide. So um, what that ends up looking like, so basically the, uh, what I try to do there is um, I will knock out all the areas that I don't want the plugin to see and can you know use little black lines to create those color shapes. So what that looks like when I'm done with that is something like this. So it, um, it does a you know basically the idea here is that you can see uh, you let the let the plugin see what you're trying to fill in, so a lot of the detail is gone, uh, you know, taken out, and this is a much quicker process than uh, going through and doing this yourself. Hopefully, as long as you fill in all the gaps. So uh, you'll see that this is both black and white, so it knows what to find there. Um, some stuff I haven't pulled out, like. You can see there's these little, uh, these three lines here. I haven't bothered to pull those out because it will just wrap around those and fill all that in. So what you'll do is you'll install, install the program like you would normally do with any uh, plugin. You can find out how to do that pretty easily using the old internet. Uh, and then I have this guide here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer so I can keep um, this guide separate. Um, so I've done that. Uh, then I go up to Window, or sorry, Filter, and Pelt Made there. So the first one you want to use is uh, Multi Fill. So you'll go through and pick all your uh, stuff out here. These are the settings that I use. Um, you know, you can you know mess with these all you want, but these are what I found uh, work pretty well for me. So then you just I'm gonna save it real quick. In case something crashes, <laughs> that'll be awkward for everyone. Uh, pelt me. There you go. So we'll multi-fill this bad boy. Uh, and go. And it takes a second. And it fills in everything uh, with random colors. So you kind of can take a look at this and see, you know, what's working and what's not. Um, right away, I can see right here, it looks like this area wasn't filled in. Yep, see right there, there's a little extra gap there. So what I can do is undo this. Uh, grab this guy here, fill that in. I might fill these guys in too so they don't uh, have random colors. And do the multi-fill again. And so basically this is the process now where you kind of go back and forth and see if you can find other 
things that it might uh, have that you might have missed before. Um, <sighs> this actually looks pretty good. Oh no! Looks like I've I got extra little spots here where this is. I mean, you can go through and uh, you know mess with this um, a little bit or or as much as you want. Um, I prefer to just have it all done uh, at this stage rather than going back through later on. Um, but, you know, kind of, it's all up to you, uh, this looks like there's a little gap somewhere in here, maybe, maybe, or maybe it was just a really close color, oh, there's the gap, whoops, This looks pretty good. Now well, that looks like it's still open right there. So that's the idea here. So you'll basically go through here and uh, kind of get this stuff all situated. Um, how you like it. All that kind of fun stuff. And I'm going to dupe it again just so I have that final layer a little bit you know different so that's that and so then once you've got that basically at this point that black is still the black lines are still on here so you don't want that when you go into color um, so what you can do at that point is use the other pelt made uh, filter called flatten pro flatten all that bad boy out takes a second and it removes all those black lines which is awesome so what you can do now is turn all that stuff on that you had before pull these flats below all your line work and you're good to go everything's all hunky dory lovely stuff so yep then I'll go through and color that uh, you know, sample colors from previous pages, you know, make sure it's kind of how I like it and all that kind of uh, fun stuff. And that's about it. So that's my process. And uh, you can see all the final colored um, page up um, on Monday and it'll be in the show notes. Show notes. This isn't a show. <laughs> Maybe it is. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea. I hope you like this video. Hope it helps you uh, do some color, color coloring of comics, all that fun stuff. All right, thanks for watching.